let's go through these books. I almost broke down into tears just because I didn't want to do it. My only plans for the rest of the night is to read, and that sounds so perfect. We're gonna drive to the Little Free Library and I'm going to donate all of these books. living in Florida sucks, I truly mean it. My lens is fogging up, so if it keeps having to like switch camera angles, sorry about that one, but two, like can't really do much to change it. It's not worth crying about, okay? Let me put my hair up real quick first too, because I am sweating, I am dying, and I'm in jeans. Why? Ah! Yes, my hair looks a mess, but before anybody comments about that, hello everyone, we are doing bookish stuff today. I am so excited, and actually this is not just a today vlog, I'm going to like put this into multiple days of a vlog because we're doing a bunch of bookish stuff. I love watching these types of videos where it's just like hanging out with a friend, you're hanging out with your book bestie, is basically what this video is going to be. I have a few things on my list of what I want to complete, let me grab my computer. I don't know why I've been doing my to-do list on my computer, it's so inconvenient, but anything to make my life harder I'll do it in this video I want to go to the book sale section in my library they always have the best books in the book sale section I want to do a book haul when I get books from the library I also want to do some mood reading with you guys and then kind of talk about some of the plans for videos in the future of like book videos that I'm filming and then I also want to do a book on haul which I think on the docket for today docket what am i like 40 years old okay docket is crazy on the agenda for today is a book on haul i have way too many books like if i had like a library of some sort we'd be fine we'd be good but i have like not even i would not even consider this cabin a loft Truly, I have books all over my desk, which is really scary. Let me show you. This makes me feel like my desk might topple over at any given second. Way too many books on this desk. Look at that. And when my desk falls, whose fault is it going to be? Mine. I need to just to clutter some of these books. Like a lot of these books I'm never going to read. And then I also have, let me show you this again. My Pride and Joy, this bookshelf. Literally my favorite bookshelf I've ever made. I have all of my favorite books right here at the top, which probably won't get rid of any of those. We have a bunch of rom com fantasy books. This is kind of like miscellaneous, but I have them like color coordinated. Thrillers, mysteries. Once again, miscellaneous books that I low key want to hide because like half of these I don't even like or will never read read. This is like sports romances. So yeah, that's kind of like what's going on over there. I just need to unhaul so many books. I have way too many books. There are like books behind the books on my shelf. And truly, if I keep buying books, like just bought all these books, by the way, I continuously keep going to the store, buying books or like going to my book sale section and buying like 17 books. And it's like, girl, you know, these won't fit on your shelf. What are you doing? Let me unhaul all these books because we have too many. This has been long overdue. <laughs> One thing about me that you should probably know is I cannot do anything. I will not be productive if I don't have music playing or a YouTube video playing. This time we're settling for music. I am the definition of a hoarder, and I fear I'll never change. Um, let's go through my actual bookshelf now. I have so many books, which would be fine if I had like a designated like library or if I just had more of like these shelves, but I also don't need this many books. Like if these were all good books, we'd be fine and dandy, but they aren't. I need to go through them. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these rom-coms. I'm such a rom-com girly, I don't think I can do it. I'm not gonna give away any fantasy books because I really don't own that many fantasy books in general. These top two sections are like the least of my worries. It's really like we work our way down. Definitely wanna go through all of these because I don't think that I'm ever going to read like When the Apricots Bloom. Not gonna read that. Should we clear out all of my shelves and just go through it that way? I feel like that's so much easier, honestly. Let's go through these books. Dealing with 
with. Sorry, I'm projecting my voice. You guys are also outside in the rain. So let's talk pretty quickly. I have all of my maybes here in front of me. And then over there is my no pile. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, a lot of these maybe books will become no books. Sorry, I have to sit. I have shin splints. Hopefully that pile will be a lot bigger. sweating. All of these are the cute books. They are in a different order because I did just take a thumbnail and I want like more popularized books to be in the thumbnail. Doesn't really make that much sense, but it does to me. Okay, moving on. Over here is where all of the books I am getting rid of currently lie. Let's go through these really, really quick. Also, not really talking about any of these books because I'm getting rid of them and also two because I fear it's going to make me just like want to keep them. We're getting rid of Nearlyweds by Beth Kendrick, Blue Moon by Lee Child, Confessions of the Other Sister by Beth Harbison, Goodbye Stranger by Rebecca Steed, and Goodbye Book, The Natural by Bernard Malamud. Definitely said that name wrong, but when the April Cots Bloom by Gina Wilkinson, Visible and Immutable by Sydney Swanson, A Good Day to Pie by Misha Pop, The Last Horse by Olin, not gonna try to pronounce that last name, but it's a spy fiction novel, Not My Cup of Joe, Slingshot by Mercedes Helmling, don't know. And last but not least, The Sisters Grimm by Michael Buckley. Getting rid of all of those. I'm gonna stop chatting while I do this, sorry, but I am currently running out of willpower and motivation to do anything. So I'm gonna put all of these books back, try to put them in like order, I guess. And then my new books, let me grab these. All of these somehow found their way off of my shelf. They either grew legs and walked away or I grabbed them off my shelf. I'm gonna put all these books back and put these back with them. And then, and then we will go find some cute little libraries for the books that I'm giving away a little bit later in this video. Probably not today, if I'm being honest, but coming soon to be continued. my camera is overheating anyways I put some blood sweat and tears into that one let's be so honest and real I almost broke down into tears just because I didn't want to do it the thing about me is I'm a major procrastinator to the point where like that is my downfall it's also like the second I actually do what I've been procrastinating for the past like 30 minutes it's like nope it only took me five minutes to complete that so I think I want to get a whole nother shelf honestly um let me show you where so this is the view when you like walk into the cabin i have that this is kind of like my filming setup i either want to get another like white shelf to go right here or some kind of thing like that to go on this edge or the plan is get another one of these types of shelves and put it here if i choose to do what i wanted to do and like put a shelf of some sort behind the ladder i think that that's going to become my romance shelf like my rom-coms because i have a lot of rom-coms but i only have one like little section of my bookshelf that is dedicated to rom-coms i would like to have a massive bookshelf i would like to have the whole back wall where i just showed you my bookcase to be like two massive bookshelves would love nothing more than that and genuinely i really want to do that but not very likely because i graduate in a year and hopefully crossing our fingers move out in a year so why would I buy bookshelves if I'm leaving in like a year anyway um but I do kind of want to buy a small little like just shelf for my romance books to sit on behind the ladder here this is the perfect spot and it has it has like a little puzzle that my grandpa did my guitar just like random stuff like my mirrors I used to do my makeup like I could find better spots for all of that stuff for the rest of the day honestly today i'm just going to pack up all the books that i want to donate into some sort of bin i have not figured out if i want to donate them to my library or to these free little book libraries i think i want to do the free libraries yeah i think that's about it i'm just gonna bag up all these books that i need to take 
to the free libraries and we'll do that a little bit later in the week together. Hey guys, welcome to my couch now. I am going to be here for further notice. I have two books I want to get through and I also just like something about being on a couch in my comfy clothes watching YouTube. It sounds like the most perfect thing. I am currently reading a novel love story. I'm actually reading this book for a different video also, my screen time reading video. I just want to finish this book honestly so that I can start a new book tomorrow for that video. We're going to be sitting on the couch until further notice until I can complete this book. It is only 5.24 right now. So we have some time Time to kill. So that's kind of my whole plan for tonight. Finish a novel love story by Ashley Poston and then start or like continue reading Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I have been watching only book videos religiously for the past probably year of my life. I will try to watch something else on YouTube and I can't do it. You see who posted a new vlog or who posted a new book video. My book YouTube videos are now going to be on my dad's YouTube account. <laughs> He's gonna have like reading wrap ups popping up on his recommended now. It is officially time to give these books away. It's a sad goodbye, but like it's needed. I have a big bag worth of books and we're about to stop at a little free library. I've also religiously been wearing my hair the same for the past few days. This, whatever this is, it gets my hair out of my face and doesn't annoy me, like wow. We're gonna drive to the little free library and I'm going to donate all of these books. And then after that, we're going to our library to the book sale section and we're gonna find some fun reads. you guys I got a good amount of books at the library I actually checked out three books bought four books and then got some like fun little kids books I'll show you the fun kids books first and then we'll move on to all the other ones I got first up we have cars and second up we have spider-man I mean it doesn't get any better than this look how cute it is I opened it and I was like yeah yeah I gotta have this one might just be reading this and like count toward my reading goal. I bought four books at the library. They were each 50 cents. Book sale normally hits like so hard, but this time it didn't. Actually, let me read you what I got last time from the book sale. Last time I went to the book sale section, I sent a picture to my friend. So hold on, let me see if I can find. Last time I went to the book sale section, I got two Freddie McFadden books, one Stephen King book, Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, an L. Kennedy book, Lucy Score book, and Unsteady by Peyton Crin. Insane how well I did last time. This time, didn't hit the same, wasn't vibing completely with it. The first book I got was Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. I saw this last time I went to the library. I actually think it's in my week in my life vlog. I decided to pick it up this time because I don't know. Then I got Heart and Soul by Jen Frederick. Obviously this book takes place in Korea. I'm really excited for this one. It's a little rom-com that's set in Korea. It's gonna be so cute. Next book I got from the book sale is Fear No Evil by James Patterson. I'm also trying to film a video where I read like thrillers for a week. And I feel like this would be a good book for that video because I know that James Patterson is like so beyond popular. So I saw this book, I was like, let me try it out. Last book, I thought this one was fun and it's The Royals Next Door by Karina Howe. Honestly, I picked this book up because I saw Christina Lauren was vouching for it. I was like, I kind of have to. Really excited to read this one. I think I'm gonna read this pretty soon actually. And then the three books that I got from the library like checked out are Rule Prince by Holly Black. Really wanna read this book. It's been on my TBR for way too long. I just need to read it. And also, look at how cute the drawings are on that page. I'm a sucker for that. Then we have The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. I actually checked this out a while ago, but never read it. So I'm gonna try this again. This is also a thriller, so I'm probably gonna read it for my little thriller reading for 
a week video also. And last but not least, Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. I'm really only getting this one because I heard a singular book YouTuber talk about this and it's supposed to be, I don't even know what it's about. They gave it five stars. I'm like, this could be fun. Those are the books that I checked out from the library. And that concludes my book haul and that also concludes today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys super soon with vlogs, book videos, all that fun stuff. Love you guys so much. See you in my next video.